everyone and welcome to this channel. Uh, in this video I will show you about variables in PowerShell or in a window uh, operating system. So we'll talk about what a variable is, the use case uh, with an examples. Okay. So as we know variable is a, a unit of memory that which can store a value so a value that we don't want to keep repeat we can store them in a variable so that we can reuse the variable why because maybe the value could be big long but the variable which is pretty much like alias we can use those variables and then we can reuse them so let's assume if you want to keep uh, if you want to repeat one long sentence multiple times in your script what do you want to do? You don't want to repeat that uh, uh, sentence multiple times. What you can do is you can just uh, store it in a variable and then you can reuse. Uh, you can call this value using the variable. So you just have to write that variable. If it is small, uh, mostly it's a kind of a phrase or a, a, a word. So that way it's easy better to handle and also to organize your uh, scripting so how do we uh, in a PowerShell how do we assign a value to a variable that's the first thing we're going to say I have here in my uh, Azure portal I have my uh, PowerShell terminal open so I I'm going to uh, show you on how I can create a, a variable and assign a value to it so the first one you do is the variable. The variable starts with the dollar sign. Okay. So let's say uh, I'm planning to uh, store a message. Okay. So message message is going to be. So this is the variable now. So what you do is to have any variable, you have to start with dollar sign and then space equal sign again space and then the value the value will be uh, tonight I am starting I am starting my partial my partial lesson okay so uh, that is how you want to save the value into this variable when you, see, when you hit enter the values are now saved into your variable message so you can always repeat uh, reuse them uh, however you want okay so what does that mean let's say uh, let's let's say in one of your line you will say I am uh, my plan uh, uh, let's say how do I say uh, right host okay host my plan is instead of writing everything I can just call the use the variable if if I use the variable is uh, once I hit enter it will resolve into the value okay so my plan is tonight I'm studying my partial lesson okay so Variables are very important, especially when you're working with a big scripting uh, task, an automation, especially any, uh, any data processing or anything. But when you are working with scripting, variables are key. That way you can reuse them. So when you have a big functions, multiple functions, if you want to reuse, uh, if you want to reuse those uh, specific, certain uh, values multiple times in a, a various uh, uh, functions or various lines you better 
save them into a variable and then re can you, you can reuse them that way you don't have to complicate your your script and then uh, make it also uh, tiring to 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 write them every time every time so that way uh, variables are very very important so mm, so uh, in one of my previous uh, when I was pl uh, playing with this I prepared this a small script that I I was uh, I'm planning to show you the script is here uh, where is it yep so I have a script that I prepared it's called uh, test.ps1 so what I do is I set a variable name here and then uh, text this is the first sentence to my file so and then I have also date and I'm going to do if close or condition and then I'm going to check what the name is and also I'm going to create a file and then I'm going to add a value to I'm going to add some message to the file okay so what I what I'm doing here is I am uh, declaring the, a lot of values into a variable then I am reusing the uh, those uh, variables multiple times in my uh, functions and uh, also creating uh, new files and also uh, adding values so let's see this is a the name is now assigned to this name and then text is kind of this message and then dt is a date in the format of this value and then i'm gonna uh, I'm, this is dummy uh, example so if name is equal to henry right host the name is you want the the name is you want it is oh uh, the, okay the name you wanted i'll say this uh, is this so which means i got it and then or if it is not henry it's going to be the name the name is different you said name and i said henry and then name a uh, new item which means if i want to create a file i i don't have to uh, wonder what name i should give i just can i can just use the the dates i can just uh, execute uh, extract the date in a different format and then give my file with that uh, append with that format with that date uh, output and then also then i can add value to or a message into the file that i'm cre i created okay so when i if uh, how do i execute i just right click test dot ps1 so the PS1 is uh, a, an extension to a PowerShell script. As you know, to any Linux, uh, Unix-based ba uh, environment, it is uh, .sh. But for a PowerShell uh, 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 operating system, uh, is PS1. Okay. So when I do hit enter. What I'm going to say is first, the name is different. You said Monsieur, like you said. Uh, I said it's here name, but it came up the value of that. And I said Henry. And then the next one is the new item. So the new item, it created this file because it, it output the date. It, uh, it append the date to the file the text. It seems like it's small here, but it's this is so big. And then here you see zero because the value is added later. So here, if I refresh, by the way, I will see the file. If I hit it, uh, open the file, so the value are this is the first sentence to my file. As you, as we we saw in our script, we uh, we already assigned the those value to the variable. And then that way, I don't have to to write them all. 
I just have to use the variable to when I'm uh, putting into the file. So this is a simple introduction about variables and their use cases. And I hope uh, this is uh, this was informative and helpful to you guys. Uh, if you have any com comments or questions related to this uh, uh, topic we discussed about, leave me uh, your questions in the comment uh, section. If you find this information helpful, consider sharing it with your friends and families. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe too. For now, bye-bye.